Patients with atrial fibrillation are at risk for thromboembolic events. So one of the decisions in treatment and management of these patients is whether or not to start antithrombotic therapy. This is where the chads vas score comes in. The chads vas score is used to risk stratify patients with atrial fibrillation and the risk for things like stroke and thromboembolic events. You could actually use the letters in the name chads vasc to help you remember the components of the score, which include congestive heart failure, a history of hypertension, age greater than or equal to 75, which awards two points, a history of diabetes, a history of stroke, TIA, or thromboembolism, which also awards two points, vascular disease, such as a history of coronary artery disease or peripheral arterial disease, age between 65 and 74 years, which awards one point, and sex category, where being female would give you one point. Based on the number of points the patient scores, you can risk stratify their stroke risk as you see here. In general, you'll notice that the higher the score, the higher the risk for stroke and thromboembolic events. In regards to treatment and management, the general recommendation for whether or not to start endocoagulation therapy is stratified based on these points a patient has scored. Patients with scores of zero are considered low risk and may not require endocoagulation. Patients with score of one are low to moderate risk and should consider antiplatelet therapy, such as with aspirin, or even anticoagulation. Scores of two or more are considered moderate to high risk, and patients should be considered a candidate for anticoagulation therapy. Of course, we should factor in things such as why this patient has atrial fibrillation, how long they've had atrial fibrillation for, and the risk for bleeding if they were to start anticoagulation therapy, etc. The score is not the be-all and end-all for medical decision-making but it provides a nice foundation for where you will start thinking about potential treatment options for your patient. So here's an example. You have a 63-year-old female with diabetes and a history of stroke two years ago. She's been complaining of palpitations for the past three days. An AKG shows atrial fibrillation. How would you risk stratify this patient's risk and need for antithrombotic therapy? Using the chads vas score, this patient gets one point for having diabetes two points for a history of stroke, and one point for female sex category or gender. She has a pretty high score of 4, putting her at approximately 4.8% stroke risk per year, and so she would be a good candidate for starting anticoagulation therapy. For more on atrial fibrillation, check out some of the resources we left in the description below, and don't forget to check out and subscribe to our channel for more of these videos.